And then Bianca Belair came out to do an in-ring promo. And there was more action on an average episode of the Dick Cavett show than there was on his program. I started skipping this, but then Rhea Ripley showed up. So I started watching it. And did you notice that Bianca and Rhea are the same height, Brian? Well, Bianca seemed a little bit taller. Yes, because Rhea Ripley was wearing sneakers and Bianca Belair had f***ing platform boots that Gene Simmons would have got a nosebleed on top of. They had to be eight inches. Did you see those f***ing heels? I actually didn't notice. I usually don't look at the uh, footwear. Yes, women. no, but because I said there's no way Bianca Belair is as tall as Rhea Ripley and then I got a wide shot and freeze framed it. I swear to God, sneakers on Rhea Ripley platform boots on Bianca Belair. So maybe they're the same height because she was taller than Rhea with the platforms. No, she was like one inch taller than Rhea with the eight inch platform boots on. So do some, <laughs> do some subtracting and some additifying on there and take the, you, you subtract the, the knot from the double knot. <laughs> you will let anything happen with Rhea where she loses the discussion. <laughs> no, just... <laughs> no, not a bit. <laughs> So then Rhea Ripley basically promised that she is going to beat Bianca Belair one of these days, just like she beat Charlotte. And Bianca recited her scripted verbiage that she was handed back to Rhea Ripley, and basically they left it with, well, one of these days we're going to see about this. And then they just walked off. <laughs> just Rhea just left. One of these days we'll see about this. I've been telling you, I think that's the future is these two working together. And between now and the future, they should do something and have them unify the titles because we only need one women's champion in WWE. And then you don't need as much going on. You don't need two separate women's rosters in WWE. Well, between now and the future, that's a fucking tight window of opportunity there. Between now and the future, it's like one day we'll see. And then they just walk off. I th They need to hurry up with Rhea because she will be uh, a movie star in two to three years. Now, thanks to oh. our friend Ari Emanuel and the rest of the fine folks over at Endeavor. What kind of movies do you think she's going to be getting? Action adventure. She's going to make goddamn Schwarzenegger and Stallone look bad. She's going to fucking, she's going to be out there with rocket launchers and cannons and machine guns and all kinds of stuff. Blowing the whole world up. All right. I can't wait to see the uh, script for this. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost finished writing it. 